The Proxy SG 510-810 Appliance Migration Paths and Migration Process Objectives If you will be migrating to a new Blue Coat Proxy SG OS and appliance, you may have a number of questions. During this brief training, you will review the recommended appliance migration paths, define the SGOS versions to upgrade to on the old and new appliances, review the Proxy SG 510-810 overall migration process, and identify migration resources. Now, let's get started. Recommended Appliance Migration Paths When you migrate from an end-of-life model to a new appliance, you can follow the recommended appliance migration paths for end-of-life models as shown here. Please note that these are recommendations only. In some cases, you may prefer to select a higher performance model to fit your own needs. This information is available in the Migrating to a New Proxy SG Appliance Guide on Blue Touch Online. Proxy SG OS versions for the old appliance. Depending on which version your existing appliance is currently running, the upgrade path may require that you upgrade to an interim release on your existing appliance before migrating to a new appliance, such as Proxy SG 510, upgrade to the highest SGOS version supported on this model, which is SGOS 6.4.6.7 or higher, 6.4.6.x release. Proxy SG 810, upgrade to SGOS 6.5.9.6 or higher, 6.5.x release. Proxy SG OS versions for the new appliance. Additionally, the new appliance you are migrating to must be upgraded to SGOS 6.5.9.6 or higher. The migration process. When replacing one Proxy SG with another, you will want to bring over the configuration from the old appliance and load it into the new appliance. You will use the Configuration Archiving feature to transfer the configuration over. Because new SGOS versions introduce new features, remove obsolete features, and sometimes change default behaviors, you may need to edit the configuration to get the same results in the new configuration. To minimize any disruption in your network and prevent loss of data in your access logs or event logs, you should complete this migration during a maintenance window. The following is a high-level look at what is involved in migrating your configuration from one appliance to another. Tasks to perform on the old appliance. Tasks to perform on the old appliance include upgrading to the highest SGOS version supported, reviewing policy rules to find in your configuration and validating whether they are supported in SGOS 6.5.9.6, backing up your configuration with keyrings and saving it to a local system, recording the network security settings, for example, the IP address, gateway, DNS, etc., and powering down, unracking, and uncabling the old appliance. Edit the configuration archive. In addition, you will need to edit your configuration archive that you have stored on a local system and address issues including reconciling the interface numbering scheme to address any configuration differences between the old appliance and the new appliance. Please refer to the detailed steps in the Migrating to a New Proxy SG Appliance Guide. Interface Mapping When you replace an appliance with a different hardware model, the interface numbering scheme may change. The interface modules, the slot, interface labeling, and bridge pair groups on the newer Proxy SG appliance models may be different from that of the older models. You may need to verify the interface configuration on your older appliance and perform the necessary adjustments to maintain consistency in your network configuration before restoring your configuration archive onto your new appliance. Specific steps are available in the Migrating to a New Proxy SG Appliance Guide on Blue Touch Online. Tasks to perform on the new appliance. Tasks to perform on the new appliance include installing any option cards that you may have purchased, 
installing the proxy SG S200 or S400 in your network, loading the license on the new appliance, upgrading the new appliance to the new SGOS version 6.5.9.6 or higher, and restoring the archived, edited configuration on the new appliance. Review new Proxy SG OS features. If your old appliance was running on a pre-6.5.9.6 version of SGOS, you should review the features introduced between your current version and the new version, as well as the upgrade impact. The SGOS release notes are an excellent source of information on features. For the upgrade impact, please refer to the SGOS Changes and Behavior section in the SGOS Upgrade Downgrade web guide. Migrating to a new Proxy SG Appliance Guide. Be sure to read and follow the steps in the Migrating to a new Proxy SG Appliance Guide. This guide provides all of the essential details of Proxy SG migration. Blue Touch Online. These resources are available on Blue Touch Online. The guides are available on the documentation page of Blue Touch Online. No login is required for the documentation page. Release notes are available on the Blue Touch Online download portal. Login is required for the download portal. Thank you for viewing this e-learning training. For product recommendations and additional information, please contact your Blue Coat Systems Engineer or your Blue Coat Channel Partner SE.